Hi, I'm Coach Todd with feelgoodlife.com where we teach people over 50 how to get healthy, pain-free joints. I'm gonna teach you a sit to stand tutorial, essentially how to use good body mechanics when you're standing up, when you're standing up from your recliner or a stool or a chair, whatever you're standing up from, I'm gonna teach you the proper way to do it so that you stay healthy and injury free. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you enjoy our videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and like, and hit that little bell so you're alerted every time we open or release a new video. So let's go ahead and get started. So pretend you're sitting in a chair. You might be sitting in a chair now. I'm sitting in a stool. This exercise and this method can be used if you're in a stool, if you're in a regular chair, if you, even if you're in a recliner, or even if you're getting out of bed. So uh, we'll start with the feet first, one of the most important parts of the exercise. You're gonna want your feet parallel and about shoulder width. Also, one of the things that, uh, the mistakes that people make is they keep their feet out too far. And so what they have to do is they have to throw their weight forward to get their weight over their feet so that they can stand up. And so I really like you to keep your feet close in underneath your knees and even closer to the legs of the chair. Now, if you're in a recliner, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna scooch your, your buns up towards the edge so that you can get your feet close enough underneath your center line so that you can shift your weight over your feet. So your feet, your toes are parallel, your feet are shoulder width, and your feet are closer underneath you. Now, it's also important to shift your weight into your heels. So some people put their weight more towards their toes, and then they have less stability. So your, your weight is designed to go right over your heels in the flat middle part of your foot. So as you shift your weight forward, you start to feel that weight go right into those heels. If you notice that it feels like you have to put your, you have to throw your weight, again, scooch your heels up a little bit more forward in underneath you. All right, so the other, another mistake that people make is they, they look down, right? Your body is designed to follow your eyes. If I look to the right, my body's gonna go to the right. If I look to the left, my body's gonna go to the left. If I look down, my body's gonna go down. Right, so keep your eyes horizontal, looking, looking at the wall in front of you or looking at the horizon if you happen to be outside. So I'm looking upright, my spine is neutral, I'm not slumped over, and as I shift, my weight goes right over my toes. The other mistake that people make is they use their hands. They use their hands to press upwards and that sarcopenia doesn't just affect your hips or your knees or your back, it also affects your shoulders. And so your shoulders weren't designed to take the weight of your body and propel you upwards like this. It's, that's what your legs are for. And so you really wanna use your legs for this. You can use your hands for balance, but try not to use them for strength or to push your body upwards. So my feet are underneath, the, underneath me, I'm shifting forward. My eyes are her or at the horizon looking forward. I'm using my hands maybe for balance, but not for strength. I'm not pushing off my knees and I propel up. Now, if you notice, my knees are not over my toes. My knees are right at my toe line and I'm using my, my glutes and my quads to stand upright. I'm not looking down. I'm looking upright like this. And as I stand, I'm driving with my glutes and my quads and my weight's going right into my heels. So they're not, it's not forward like this. It's right into the heels and I'm driving upwards. Another mistake that people make is they allow their knees to collapse in. And what that does is it, is it decreases your stability in the lower half of your body. So you really wanna make sure your knees are driving outwards as you, as you stand. So really force those knees to go out as you stand. So that's the proper form to do a sit to stand. Now you can start to use this as an exercise so that it's easier to do it 
and, and build, actually build strength. So what we recommend is if you're just starting off, you just do five reps. If you're a little bit more advanced, then you could do 20 reps. So you go ahead, keep that, that, that form the whole way through, go nice and slow. You don't need to do it fast. And again, you're not shifting, you're not throwing your weight, you're not throwing your weight to do the exercise. You're controlling the movement the whole way. And that's how you do sit to stand. 